It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. Today's video is brought to you courtesy of Banggood's Christmas Sale. So let's just have a quick look at uh, what's going on there. So for this year, uh, this is the Banggood Christmas Gifts List sales page and you can see that they are attempting to get you 7 day delivery. There's lots of goodies available with some pretty good prices and that also includes things like mechanical keyboards. So uh, you know, you can see there's some offerings there. So if you want to go check it out, please do. Uh, your support for them is great because they support me and provide stuff for me to review and check out. So link is going to be in the description below. If you're looking for something to pick up, something different, something wacky, something in time for Christmas, please go check it out. Now, this is the part two of effectively uh, a review of a keyboard. And as the title would have you know it, it's a look again at this Gamma K K87. Now I'll have obviously the little card thing up there in the corner about this and my initial review. And some of the things that I kind of want to address is the fact that uh, I didn't really look at software. Most of my videos, most of my reviews, I don't look at software, but I've got a lot of people asking me about the software. And one of the pickup points on the previous review was the fact that this appears to be a rebranded Womia keyboard. So I thought I'd do this second part and cover my bases there to address those issues. And also because somebody was actually kind enough to tell me that there is actually a way of turning off the external lights. So I'm just going to plug it in now. And while that's booting up, I'm going to quickly uh, head over to my inbox and find that comment <laughs> uh, where somebody was telling me. Okay, so supposedly function left control toggles the modes for the outer glow, including turning it off. So function and then control and left is not doing it. Oh, sorry, left control, my bad. <laughs> function left control. Okay, so it seems to be doing something on the outside. It seems to be matching it, including turning it off. The Well, the outside room's off, so I need to go back to the product page uh, because obviously I haven't memorized what the actual other controls are for the normal light modes in the middle. But that said, we'll have a look at the software and what it's actually capable of doing just in a moment. But uh, where is that little handy billy that they've got on this product page? Okay, L scroll function is on and off. So, function and scroll lock. So it's still doing the outside. That's the inside. So if I go function control, it's off! So, fully functional now, and there's no lights. So if you actually want something that is a frosted acrylic type look, the material is actually uh, PMMA, which is slightly different, and you want to put like some clear or white keycaps on this, this could give you that particular look if you didn't want the lights. So it is possible. Thank you very much for uh, Kotya, Kotya for actually providing me that comment and support. So there is more function keys that aren't defined, but if you go and look up the product specs from the Wormia reviews and listings, it appears to be fully functional against those. Now, in regards to that, there is software for the Wormia keyboard. Now, you'll have to go and Google it and you have to go and find it separately, but it is out there and it does exist. And it looks like this. It doesn't work until you actually plug in the keyboard. It won't boot because it says device not found. But once you actually have it, uh, it, it pops up. And it appears to be able to give you three profiles for different effects. And what you can do with it is you can actually go to 
each individual key and reprogram it, remap it. So if you didn't want the backspace to be a backspace, you could actually go there and you can redefine it into a delete key, right? So if you don't want your caps lock to be caps lock, you can reset that to become a control, depending on your personal preferences. So I think it's really cool that it does that and it should actually boot it into the keyboard itself, onto its onboard memory. The other thing that I found out when I was kicking around with this is the light feature on this actually replicates live against the keyboard. Okay, so now because I've got this on the screen and you can't see what's happening on the table below, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hold it up into the front view camera so you can see what it's doing, right? So I can change with the software the different modes and it will essentially follow the modes with a little bit of delay, okay? As it's trying to represent the colors and everything else. So I can change it to a different pattern and it's doing it essentially software telling keyboard switch to that mode. Now I can also change the brightness and speed but I can change it to a flat color. So now it's completely red. So if you've got keycaps, you know, if you've got Red Samurai or something like that, or if you've got Hamon and you want to put it on and you want to get that underglow going to match that, you can set that using this Wormia software, which is really cool. And the thing is, like I said, it goes straight onto the keyboard. So if I now go OK, software is closed, keyboard's still doing it. I'm going to unplug that now. Okay, so it's off, and theoretically, it's going to do its little boot up, and there it goes. It still maintains that. So, I think that's really nifty, that's really cool, and I don't do a lot of software reviewing, because I've had some bad experiences where the software won't even connect. For example, some of the GK boards, it didn't like it at all, but with this one, I'm actually really happy with how it works and the fact that I can see how, you know, it's going to look on the screen and essentially change it live. Uh, let me just bring that Wormia keyboard software back up. Um, and then of course, you can actually set up your own custom color because it's RGB. Once you give it a definition, you know, let's say I want to have that really weird green and I'm going to go, okay, now it's attempting to replicate that weird non-standard greeny cyan-y color you can tune this to match whatever key set or artisan that you've got on here to your desires which is really cool i don't know if a lot of other keyboards do that simply because i don't test software that much as you would know but uh probably razor synapse and all that kind of stuff does it already but i'm very impressed for the fact that this works with this and it's a really affordable board now, where does that leave us? Previously, I had said that my review rating for this was sitting around the 7, 7.5 because you couldn't turn off the outside light strip. But in regards to the fact that you can completely reprogram this board and control its lighting phase, I would say it's probably gone up to 8, 8.5. It's really cool, really cool. The only thing is it's just... Still a concern for me about its durability since it's threaded into the plastic and with the screws. So, you know, if you were careful with this, like, I wouldn't take it traveling simply because the likelihood of flexing switches popping out with the hot swap and potentially cracking any of these layers and the screws stripping from twist stress, that might be an issue. But other than that, I think it's a pretty sweet board. So, there you have it. Um, just touching up on that and I hope that's answered some people's questions in regards to how programmable it is and what you can actually do with the lighting and thank you again to Kotya for telling me that you can actually turn off the outer ring light if you didn't want that outer ring light. That's it. Well, thank you very much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this second part and of course if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, please hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, that bell notification as every other youtuber tells you to do all the time 
And of course, don't forget to check out the Banggood Christmas sales. Anything that you purchase through there, if I have affiliate links to it, then you know that goes directly to helping supporting me, keeping this channel going and getting interesting things as well. Right, that's it. Thanks very much. And of course, as usual, happy cacking. Cacking, clacking. <laughs>